Thank you for tuning in to this PTCI broadcast. Here we are at Anchor D Bank Stadium. Well, we got some good Saturday afternoon football here against the, with the OPSU Aggies hosting against the Ottawa University of Arizona Senators. Excuse me, Spirit. As the Aggies here get set to kick off, we have number 85, Seth Barbarino, set to kick here for the Aggies. I'd like to thank everybody here for tuning in as we have a rainy, cloudy day here in the Panhandle. Not many people in the stadiums. Hopefully we have lots of people here watching online on YouTube. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video so all your friends and family can see it as well as we want to show the Aggies their support here. 85, Seth Barbino here to kick it off for the Aggies. Short kick here, and that is fielded there by number 41. Michael Johnson. Ottawa University. We had a legal procedure here on the kicking team. Five yard penalty after the kick. 
Ottawa University will keep the ball. First and ten as the Spirits here lead, them, lead out on their offense. Excuse me if I have trouble with the names here. We have limited rosters here. Number ten, Austin McCallo is that quarterback. McCallo here in the pistol formation. Three receivers out to the right side. Dropping back. Passing on the first play. Oh, we have a receiver wide open. But that pass falls short as it's intended to number six. Antonio Day is the intended receiver on the pass there. That brings up second down and ten here. McCullough in, the, McCullough in the pistol formation again. Double formation. Quick throw here. Oh, and that pass is intended to number 88, but it's broken up by the Aggies. Number 11, or excuse me, number 9 for the Aggies. Brought up by Antonio Vaughn. Brings up third down here for the Spirit. Another pass here, third and long, short pass. Oh, and that pass is completed to number six, Antonio Day, but he is tackled short of the first down marker. That brings up fourth down and five here. Aggies defense forces a three and out here early in this first quarter. Exactly what you want. And out to punt for Ottawa University is number 41, Michael Johnson. And back to return for the Aggies, number 13, Ryan Acosta. Acosta looking like he's going to field it. Oh, and he's forced to as it bounces right into him, and he's tackled almost immediately. And the Aggies here will start their possession at around the 11 yard line. Great punt there by the Spirit. Makes it a long drive here for the Aggies. As we have number two, Casey Crandall, hailing from Winfield, Kansas, the freshman at quarterback for the Aggies. Motion receiver, we got a run option. Oh, and Crandall throws that. And Barbarino gets hit there, lay up to the play, but there is no flag there. Brings down second down. Pistol. Shotgun formation here. Wing to the left. Crandall takes a snap. Pitches it over to Jamali and Jones. Jones with the strong run there before he is met and tackled by number 53. Brandon Tomerlin. Third down and two here for the Aggies. Crandall takes the hand off the Jones. Jones, open field. No one there going to catch him. He's at the 40, the 30, the 20. Can he make it to the 10? Five, touchdown, Aggies on the first drive of the play here. No flags. Jamalian Jones breaks off an 80-yard touchdown run on third down and two, getting the first points here on the board for the Aggies. Lorenzo Amador in to kick the extra point. Snap, falls short. Crandall's forced to take it, and he just throws that. And that extra point is no good there. 
So here we have the Aggies 6 to 0 with 13 minutes and 15 seconds left to play. PCI, we know it's important to keep your world within your reach. Having the right cell phone and our nationwide cell service helps you do just that and keeps you connected to your loved ones, no matter the distance. So stay connected to what and who matters and keep your world within your reach with PTCI Cellular. Choose PTCI for the latest assortment of cell phones and our area's best cell coverage at a location near you, online at ptci.net or at 580-338-2556. Some restrictions apply. And Seth Barbarino will kick off here for the Aggies. Back to receive for the Spirit is number eight, Shamar Moreland. Got a whistle here as the ball falls off the tee. And also back there you see for the Spirit is number two, Jack Graham. Excuse me, that's number two, Jeremiah Greylock. Barbarino here to set to kick it off for the Aggies. Another short kick there, fielded by number 20 at the 40 yard line. Fielded by number 20, Mateo Alicia, where the Spirit will. Start first down and 10 here about the 42 yard line. In the shotgun formation. Oh, and the ball pops loose and it's up and recovered by the Aggies. And he's racing towards the end zone. No one able to catch him. And we have a touchdown there. By number 37, Nathan Sanchez, as he's able to recover that fumble, take it in. Two quick scores here for OPSU. As that ball just popped right out of there into the hands of Sanchez, who was off to the races. It looks like here the Aggies might be going for two. Racing against the clock here. We've got a timeout here called by OPSU. Trying to go for a two point conversion. Aggies here set up to go for two points. Crandall and the shotgun. Jones right beside him. Motion. Hands off goes to Jones. And he's in there for the two-point conversion. That makes the score OPSU 14, Ottawa 0.
Barberino's kick. Another squib kick here. Fielded by the Senators, I mean the Spirit. First and 10 at the 37 yard line here for Ottawa. Austin McCullough. Quick pass there goes to number two. Jeremiah Greylock brings up second down and seven here. Another quick pass there for the, the Spirit. That goes to number eight, Shamar Moreland. And he's good for first down. Ottawa staying in the no huddle here, keeping it quick. McCullough, quick pass. There goes number 80. He's able to snag that one out of there. And he's tackled after a gain about 16 yards. That's Ian. Zamudio on the reception. We have a first down again. Ottawa hurrying up, not taking no time off the clock. And that pass goes nowhere. Second down. Second down here in 10, shotgun formation. Screen pass for to, to Moreland, but he is tackled there for a loss by number 90 of the Aggies. Braden Price brings up third down here, third and 11. Pistol formation. Doubles wide. Takes a snap. Oh, and that passes off the hands of Moreland. That makes it fourth down here. See what Ottawa has has going on. So we're a little bit too far away from field goal range, but they're gonna they're not gonna punt here. They're gonna stay here on the field and go for this one. Fourth down and eleven. Aggies defense making some adjustments. McCall takes a snap. Looking down the seam. And that pass fall is incomplete. Intended to number 12. Sam Mason. It's a turnover on downs. Aggie football. Crandall, first down and 10 here for the Aggies. Leads them out. Jones in the backfield. Motion. Crandall takes a snap looking for a pass. On that pass is intended to Barbarino, but is way behind, making a second down and 10. Crandall's pitches it, and he is tackled there for a loss. 
Number 14, Charge A. Hunt for a four-yard loss after that sweep play. Makes it third down and 13 here for the Aggies. Aggies going to be forced to pass here on well, third and long. Oh, never mind that pitch of the Jones. Jones running. Oh, and he's met in the backfield. Tackled for a loss there by number 30. Number 36 of the spirit, Travis Cutright. Barbarino in the punt for the Aggies. Shamar Mullen back to receive. Barbarino's punt. Sends it in the air. And out of bounds. And the spirit here will Ottawa University will take possession here about the 42 yard line. 43 yard line. Let's see if the spirit here can make a turn this into a touchdown drive and stay in this game before it gets too out of hand. Nicolo. Hands it off to Moreland, and he gets up for about a gain of 10 yards, makes it a first down. Standing no huddle here. Another handoff there goes to Moreland, but he is tackled there by a hoist of Aggies, including number 90, Braden Price. For a gain of nothing, makes it second down and 10. Ottawa not wasting any time getting back on the ball. McCullough in the pistol formation. Takes a few steps back. Oh, and he passes that deep. Oh, right out of the hands of his receiver. As that was a beautiful pass there by McCullough. But that it falls incomplete intended for number nine. McColo in the pistol formation, third down and nine. Quick pass here. Goes to number eighty, Ian Zamudio. And he is tackled for about a gain of five. Still making a fourth down here for the for Ottawa University. Fourth and two. And they look like they have no question about this. They're going for this one here. They were unsuccessful in the last fourth down attempt. Let's see what they got going on here. Handoff goes to Moreland. Moreland looking, looking in. He's tackled for a short game. Let's see if they've got enough. It is good for a first down. Moreland with the two, three yard run up the left side. First down and 10 here for the Spirit. Nicola making adjustments. Drops back. Looking on the out route. That's pass is completed to number two, Jeremiah Greylock. And that's good for another S Ottawa first down. Hurry up offense. P run goes to Moreland. Oh, his legs are taken out quick there. By number 25 of the Aggies. Daquan Charles on the tackle. That pass there 
falls incomplete intended to number two. Jeremiah Greylock makes it second down. As about almost every play, the spirit rotating receivers in and out. And that passes too high there, intended to number six. Antonio Day. Makes it third down and ten. Colo screen pass goes to Moreland. Moreland weaving in and out. Spin move there. Before he's tackled by a hoist of Aggies. That is good enough for another. Spirit, first down. The snow huddle here tires out the Aggie defense as they prolong this drive. Colo making adjustments here at the line of scrimmage. Pistol formation. Looking to his left. Quick pass there. Goes to number five. And he's tackled out of bounds. That is Donald Stokes on the completion. Makes it second down here in three. Run goes into Moreland. Moreland working his way up, and he... Does not get enough good enough for a touchdown, but he does have the first down. This makes it first and goal for the Spirit. Piccolo. Shotgun formation. Fade route to Stokes. That fall is incomplete. He's looking for a flag. But he's not going to get one there. Makes it second down. Aggies here. Staying tight to the line on defense. Not going to let any runs go. Moreland. Weaving and bobbing. Is he good? And he is good enough for a touchdown. That is an Ottawa spirit. Touchdown here with 6 minutes 26 seconds left. That brings in number 48 to kick. Landon Reeves. And Reeves' extra point is good. So we got the score here, 14 to 7 here in the first quarter. PCI, we know it's important to keep your world within your reach. Having the right cell phone and our nationwide cell service helps you do just that and keeps you connected to your loved ones, no matter the distance. So stay connected to what and who matters and keep your world within your reach with PTCI Cellular. Choose PTCI for the latest assortment of cell phones and our area's best cell coverage at a location near you, online at ptci.net or at 580-338-2556. Some restrictions apply. Ottawa University getting set to kick here. Number 49, Ian Loggins set to kick. OPSU has been choosing a squib kick it here. Oh, excuse me, that's number 48, Landon Reeves to kick. And Reeves' kick goes high in the air, deep. Feel it about the 10-yard line, open oh, drop there. Oh, we have a flag coming down. But we have a good field on that kick by number 7, Jay Sean Brown.
Block in the back. Receiving team number 32, Juan Rodriguez. It's a 10-yard penalty. Aggies will get the ball at about the 24, oh, excuse me, 19-yard line. Crandall in the shotgun. Hands it off to Jones. And he's met at the line by a host of S Ottawa defenders, including number 53, Brandon Tomerlin. Makes it second down and nine here. Receiver in motion, and off goes to Jones again. Oh, and he's powering himself through. And he is tackled there by number 99, Tyreek Humphrey. That's third down and two here for the Aggies. As they've been sticking with this run on the option play here early in this game. And they stay with it again with Jones. Oh, and he is chipped up there by number 99, Humphrey. But it's good enough for a first down. Crandall on the pistol. Three receivers out to the right. And this play is blown dead here early. We got a full start, it looks like. Full start on the offense. Five yard penalty, still first down. Randall on the shotgun. Handoff goes to Danny Valverde, and he's met for a gain of nothing there. Second down and 16 here for the Aggies. Three receivers out to the right side. Crandall running the veer option, hands it off to Jones. Oh, and Jones is pushed out of bounds there by number 21. Kevin Owens. Makes it third down and 15 here for the Aggies. Three receivers out to the left side. Crayon takes a snap, drops him back. Looking, force out, rolling out to his left. Crandall's pass goes out of bounds, intended for number 16. Emil Cola. That makes it fourth down here for the OPSU. Barberino and the punt. Moreland back there to receive. I'd like to thank everybody here for watching online today on PTCI's YouTube. Make sure you subscribe for more OPSU sports and other Panhandle area sports here in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Barberino's punt goes out of bounds and the spirit will take possession at the 47 yard line.
Colo. And at quarterback, pistol formation. Looking to pass. Long, deep pass there. And it is caught there by number 12, Sam Mason, for the long gain on first down. And the Spirit here are looking to score here and tie this game up. McColl making adjustments. Colo. Oh, and he gets hit there hard. Yes, and we're going to see a flag. And I think they're going to get cold targeting here. As that goes to number, that passes in to number two, Jeremiah Greylock. Personal foul targeting. That player is disqualified. OPSU coaches are arguing that he hit him with the sh shoulder. That was a bang bang play there. Greylock's probably shaking up there for the for the spirit. And that sends number ten Warren Dillon out of the game. Nicole's handoff goes there to Moreland. Moreland spin moves out of one tackle, but gets tackled there by number 95. Kobe Dieter makes it second down here. Colo hands it off again to Moreland. Moreland, wide open hole. And he's there for Ottawa a touchdown. All the spirit need now is one point to tie this one up. Out to kick Landon Reeves. And Reeves' kick is up, and it is good. For the spirit. That ties his ball game up at 14 apiece with 2 minutes and 12 seconds. Back to receive for the Aggies. Number seven, Jay Sean Brown. Let's see if Re Landon Reeves can get the ball set up here on the tee. Deshaun Brown takes it out of the end zone. Oh, and he's breaking loose. Tackle about the 30-yard line by number 83, Taryn Rose. And 
And that's where OPSC will start their drive here at the 30-yard line. Crandall, the quarterback. Oh, and that pass there out for the option is not good for the Aggies. Makes it second down. Handoff goes to Jones, and Jones is met at the line of scrimmage by number 53, Bra Brandon Tomerlin. Crandall, third down and eight. Looking to pass, complete to Cola. Polo with the reception, makes it fourth down here and four. And out comes the punt team for the Aggies. Barbarino, the punt, Moreland. Creep up to the line. Barbarino with a good punt there. And that goes out of bounds about the 27-yard line where Ottawa will s start their drive. Colo in the pistol formation, three receivers out to the right side, hands it off to Moreland. Moreland off the right side of the line, breaking tackles. Takes a stiff arm before being tackled by number four. And we got a light flag down here in the middle of the field. Number four, J.K. and Daniels gets a tackle there. We get a personal foul there on the spirit. That personal foul will negate that long run there by Moreland. Nicolo in the first and in the pistol formation here makes it first down and twelve. Oh, and that pass is almost intercepted there by number forty, Malachi Green Hightower. Got one hand on it, but was not able to. Snag it for the Aggies. Makes it second down and 11 here for the Spirit. We got some discussion here between the refs. Is there adjusting the chains there? Makes it second and ten. 
Looks like we had a chain fun malfunction there after that penalty. We got 20 seconds left here remaining in the first quarter. Handoff goes to Moreland. And he is met there by the Aggie defensive line, including number 91, Ryland, Ryan DeHorny, who throws him to the ground. Brings up a third down here. And that right there signals the end of the first quarter where we have a tie ball game, 14-14. the importance of having good internet where you live and work. That's why, as your local internet provider, PTCI's affordable and reliable internet plans make perfect sense. So sign up today and get the internet you deserve at a PTCI location near you or visit us online at ptci.net. Some restrictions apply. Here we are back to start the second quarter of play. Tie ball game here on this rainy, cloudy day here in the beautiful Oklahoma Panhandle. As the Ottawa University Spirit had a long way to travel here all the way from Arizona to get here today. Looking for a win. Moreland gets skinny through that hole there. And he gets a first down. As we have lots of pushing and shoving through the pile. That is Moreland's run is good for a first down. Nicolo in the pistol formation. Looking to the right. Pass intended to number 82, diving for it, but that falls incomplete. That pass is intended for number 82. Drenel Rhodes. McCullough and the pistol again. Oh, and that pass is right through the hands of number five, Donald Stokes, which would have been good for a first down, but that breaks it third and ten. As that ball here is slippery and wet from the constant rain we've been getting. Let's see if the Aggies here can stop them on third down. McCullough we'll play action. Oh, and it's intercepted there by the Aggies. Number four, looking to run it back here. And he is forced out of bounds. Jaquavian Daniels on the interception. That's exactly what the Aggies wanted. Setting up their offense with a good field position. Good util utilization of the tip drill that you use in practice. We do have a holding on the return. That'll be 10 yards from the spot of the foul. Which give the Aggies the ball about the 45 yard line. I'd like to thank everybody here for watching PTCI YouTube channel. Thanks for tuning in, everybody, all the way out from Arizona. We have maybe people, people from Oklahoma here and anywhere else. Let us know down in the comments where you're watching from.
This is Nathaniel Watson, your voice of the Panhandle. Crandall scrambling around on the first down, making defenders miss. It gains about four or five yards there after the defensive line gets good pressure on him, not giving him any time to throw. Second down and five. Handoff goes to Jones off the option. And Jones running over people there before getting tackled by number seven. David Jones Jr. on the tackle. Quick play here for the Aggies. Crandall keeps it for a gain of about two or three. Crandall and the shotgun. Hands it off to Jones off the read option play. Jones fighting for every yard. And they blow that, that play dead. He gains about another two or three yards. Third down here for the Aggies. Crandall in the pistol formation. Four receivers out wide. Getting the play call in. That run goes to Jones. Jones stumbling forward. Is he good enough for a first down? He is. Brings up an Aggie. First down. And after that good run, Jones getting... So switched out there for number 35, George Dominguez. Pitch goes to Dominguez. Oh, flea flicker play to here to Crandall. Crandall looking to Barbarino in the end zone. Oh, and that pass is broken up by number seven, David Jones. Aggies here trying to get tricky with it. And... It looked good there, but Jones is ready for that one, breaking that pass up. Crandall's ha handoff. Oh, option play. Keeps it himself. Crandall gains about three yards there. Third down here for the Aggies. Just here maybe with right within field goal range. Let's see if they can get a few yards here to get a first down. Crandall, oh, and he is sacked there by number 53, Brandon Tomerlin. Gets his first sack of the day. And the Aggies here. Going to stay on the field and go for it on fourth down. Three receivers out to the right side. Got num number seven, Jay Sean Brown, Emilio Lacola, and Barbarino out on the right. Crandall looking. Forced up in the pocket. Oh, and he is sacked again. Oh, and that ball comes loose. Let's see who recovers it. It's not going to matter. It's fourth down anyways. And it's recovered there by the Spirit. Turnover on downs anyways, regardless. Spirit will take over our first down.
There is 10 minutes here left to play in the first quarter. That pass here is good to Moreland. We're just at 10 minutes, 31 seconds left here to play. It's the Spirit driving first down here for Mercolo and then and the offense. Like to see like see everybody's responses here. People from watching from California, Denver, all the way from Nevada, New Orleans, Wisconsin. The people watching all over the place. And that run for Moreland doesn't get anywhere. People from Odessa, Texas. Like I say, hi to everybody watching wherever you are. Hopefully it's sunnier and brighter there than it is here. McCullough's pass goes to number 80, Ian Zamudio. Gained for about five yards. Makes it third down and five here for the Spirit. Nine minutes and 15 seconds here. Score is tied, 14-14. And that run goes to Moreland, and he's going nowhere. And the ball comes loose, but they blew that play dead there as he is met in the backfield by number 55. Cameron Dickerson by the Aggies makes it fourth down. And the Spirit here are going for it on fourth down. Mercolo dropping back, looking to his right side. And that pass is complete to Zamudio, breaking tackles. Good enough for a first down. So Moody able to spin out a tackle there. Makes the Spirit first down and 10 at the 35-yard line. Look, Driving in a score here, three receivers out to the left side. Piccolo, screen pass there goes to Moreland. Aggies ready for it. And he just gains about two or three yards before getting tackled by number 40. Malachi Green, Hightower. Aggie defense trying here to get another stop here. Last time the Spirit were down here, they McColo threw an interception off the tip pass. Second and six. <laughs> oh, and that another tip pass, and it is intercepted by the Aggies, and he has nobody in front of him. Number 20. Marquez Johnson for the touchdown. Just like before, another tip pass falls right into the hands of the OPSU Aggies. As the Aggies here had three touchdowns off of three big plays. And they come out here, number 71, Lorenzo. Amador to kick, Crandall holding. And that is just a breath of life for the Aggies here, a switch of momentum. And Amador's kick is good. It's low, but it is good through the uprights. Makes the score 21-14. Aggies lead, 7 minutes, 21 seconds left.
Barberino here to kick for the Aggies. Samora Moreland, back to receive, and also number 80, Ian Zamudio, to receive for the Spirit. As it's starting to here to dry up here, but the ball still does not want to stay in that tee today as we have yet to have a kickoff. Just wet enough that that ball doesn't want to stay placed down in there. Every team having to hold it. Let's see if the Aggies here go with another squib kick. Got a low driving kick. And that is fielded by number 95 for the Spirit, Christian Foot. As he probably could have let that go out of bounds and they would have had better field position. That gets the ball for the Spirit at the 27 yard line here with seven minutes they're left to play. And Moreland gains a few yards there before getting met by number 95, Kobe Getter for the Aggies. Nicolo, pistol formation, rolling out to his right. That was a deep pass there for Zamudio through the hands. Makes it third down here and six. Colo on the pass, rolling out, not going to run it, and he just pass falls short, intended to number 88. Marcus Williams brings up fourth down here for the Spirit. Spirit forced the punt here. The punter gets hit, but they call it a tip ball. That is fielded by number 13, Ryan Acosta. As even though the punter got hit, the ref signaled that he tipped the ball, and so there's no flag on that play as Aggie set up for shop for offense. We've got six minutes, 24 seconds left here to play in the second quarter. Crandall hands it off there to Valverde. Valverde goes out of bounds after a gain of about a gain of five to six yards. Second down and five here. Crandall on the shotgun. Wing to the left. Motion and back. Another pitch here goes to Valverde off to the right side. Lead blocker there by number 80.
Jesus Rodriguez blocking there for Valverde. Brings up a OPSU third down here. Two receivers out to the left. Long count. No one jumping. And I think we just realized that the Aggies only had 10 guys on the side. Play clock down to five. Crandall dropping back, feeling the pressure, and he is just forced to slide, and he gains about nothing there. And Crandall might have slid right into a player there. Got an injury on the, on the field. Looks like number 99, Tyreek Humphrey. Not sure if he dove right into that slide or not. Brings down fourth down. And the Aggies here are going to punt. Barbarino in the punt with Moreland back to receive. Barbarino's punt is up and good. Oh, over the head of Moreland. And it might fall down here. Oh! And that is fielded at about the one yard line. Excuse me, the two-yard line there as Barbarino's punt just dies right there near the goal line. And that was number 22 for the Aggies, if I believe that we covered that. Jordan Dixon for the – oh, excuse me, number 22, Jared Perdue, able to stop that from going into the end zone. And that gives – Ottawa University, a long 98 yards to go here with 4 minutes, 44 seconds left to play. Aggies lead 21-14. And we get a full start on the offense on for long count. That's half the distance to the goal, so now it's on the one. Aggies here looking to get a safety. Ottawa backed up into their own end zone. Quick pass over the hands of number 82, Daniel Rhodes. Makes it second down and 11. Colo in the shotgun. Colo facing some pressure, throws it over the middle, and that is complete to number six, Antonio Day. Great movement around the, out of the pocket by Austin Colo as he's able to get out of his own end zone and give some breathing room out about the 21 yard line. They waste no time hurrying up here. That pass there is completed to number 14. Jordan King. Another quick play here. Another quick out route to Jordan King as that's completed again. As McCullough is going to make... His work, given number 11 for the Aggies, their, his work cut out for him. Demetrius Pruitt covering on the play. First and 10 for the Spirit. Handoff goes to Moreland. Moreland, oh, and he is smashed in there. Oh, and he is getting carried backwards by a hoist of Aggies, including number 55. Cameron Dickerson.
Dixon, pretty proud of that tackle. Spirit did gain about three yards there. Nicolo in the pistol formation. Four receivers to the out, out wide. That pass is complete to Rhodes. Rhodes gets another completion on this on today. Makes it a third down and four. With three minutes, ten seconds left. Colo, pass, looking for a flag, and they're not going to get one there. That sends the Spirit punt team out. And we've got some... Confusion on the field. Referee having some talk here. There is no flag in the play. As I think they tried to call, Aggie tried to call a timeout. And, OP and the Ottawa University was, was still running. After that confusion and mishap, it's two minutes fifty six, six two minutes and fifty six seconds left here to play. That brings in the punter for the spirit. Austin Bone to punt. Bones punt. Traveling a few extra yards after the bounce down about the 23 yard line. Crandall leading out the LPSU offense here. Crandall taking it himself after off the option play. Oh, breaking tackles, and we have a flag thrown before getting tackled by number 44, Rylan Canupio. And here we go. We got a lot of rain coming down now here. Everybody getting their umbrellas out. And we even got some hail coming down here now. But these football players are just loving it. With two minutes, 30, sec 30 seconds left. As you can see, the hail kind of collecting on some of the and the rain collecting on the umbrellas and people in the stands. Crandall's pass, long pass, and it's broken up by number 21. Kevin Owens. We do have a flag.
10 yard penalty on the defense. I mean, excuse me, five yard penalty on the defense. That was offsides. The rain's coming down. It's going to make this ball real slippery to, to throw and to catch. Two minutes, 19 seconds left. First and 15 for the Aggies. Crandall throws it out of bounds there. Stopping the clock, 2 minutes, 11 seconds. Second down to 15. Crandall on the shotgun. Three receivers out to the left in motion. Handoff goes to Cola. Oh, tries to jump over number 21. Kevin Owens. And Owens gets a tackle there. Minute 40 left here to play. Oh, and we got a false start. I saw it up here. Number 68 on the offense. Tracy Todd. They'll make it a third down and long. Third down and about 16 or 17 here. We've got a timeout here by Ottawa University. Minute 24 left to play. Aggies lead 21-14. You deserve a great experience while playing video games, binging the latest TV show, or video chatting with your loved ones. Like you, we know the importance of having good internet where you live and work. That's why, as your local internet provider, PTCI's affordable and reliable internet plans make perfect sense. So sign up today and get the internet you deserve at a PTCI location near you or visit us online at ptci.net. Some restrictions apply. Crandall, after the timeout, taking the snap. Design QB run. He goes out of bounds there, stopping the clock. Fourth down and about nine. And excuse me, number 21 for the Senators is Kayvon Owens, as I've, I've been pronouncing that wrong. And that punt there by Barbrino is not good. <laughs> Only goes to about the 40-yard line. Minute five here left as the, the Spirit take over. Down by seven. Rain's starting to light, let up here a little bit. McColo, pistol, hands it off here to Moreland with a minute left. And he is tackled there by number 37. 
Nathan Sanchez. Shamar Moreland. On the run. McColo. Oh, that goes right through the hands of number 80, Ian Zamudio. As you can tell, that ball is wet here. That makes it third down and five with 40 seconds. 40 seconds left here to play in the half. Aggie defense. And their dime set here. Multiple defensive backs out on the field. The Spirit, three receivers out to the right side. McColo, play action. Throws it deep. And it is through the hands of number 82, Rhodes. It makes it fourth down here with 32 seconds left. Let's see what the Spirit decide to do. They're going to be going for it here. So I'm pretty sure this rain here is a change for people from these players from Arizona. That's usually a dry climate over there. It is here too. Oh, it's the Moody oh, He catches it off of his own helmet. Don't know how that happened. He lost the ball, but he came up with it still. Makes it first down here with 25 seconds. Spirit. Screen to Moreland. Moreland looking into the end zone. And he is there for his Ottawa touchdown with 16 seconds left here to play. Moreland good off that screen play. Brings in Landon Rhodes, Landon Reeves, and to kick the PAT. And Reeves' PAT is good. Tying the ball game up here with 16 seconds left to go on half before the halftime. Landon Reeves here to kick for the Spirit. Kicks up ball deep. And it's ended in up getting fielded here by the Aggies who just fall on it. Number 35 for the Aggies, George Dominguez. First down and 10 here for the Aggies. Just 12 seconds left here to play. Probably expect a run here. And Crandall's just going to need this one, take it into the half, looks like. And with that, Neil, we have a score all tied up here at Anchor D Bank Stadium 21 21 on this PTCI broadcast. Make sure to stay tuned for an exciting second half of play.
You know the importance of having good internet where you live and work. That's why, as your local internet provider, PTCI's affordable and reliable internet plans make perfect sense. So sign up today and get the internet you deserve at a PTCI location near you or visit us online at ptci.net. Some restrictions apply. Jason Epp with PTCI and today we are standing in SBC Office Products standing in an ocean of copiers as that is the business that SBC does and among other things and I'm standing here with Donald Griffin. Donald you've been here for quite a while and uh, tell us a little bit about SBC not only what they do today but what they've done over the years kind of when they got started. Okay. Um, SPC uh, started in 1947 with just printing. Uh, started with one single printing press and then they moved on from printing into uh, typewriters in the 50s and 60s and then they moved into the copy machines in the early 70s. And then of course since uh, the 70s the copy machines have come a long ways. It was a, a single copy before and now they do magnification. They do scanning to email, they scan to a computer, websites, uh, all digital, all networkable. Uh, they've come a long ways with the uh, technology on those, and they're still coming along with the technology of it. Um, and uh, there, a lot of these machines are connected uh, with PTSI internet. Uh, they use scanned email, which we use the PTCI internet for. Uh, we also use the VoIP phone systems, uh, which the machines can actually do faxing, and it can be connected to a VoIP system. Um, there's lots of uh, technology that we use on this, like scanning to your website, scanning to your Google Drive, printing from your Google Drive, stuff like that. Uh, the machines uh, have come a long ways and are still going. <laughs> well, you talked a little bit about that, about the evolution of the business. And of course, recently we've seen a lot of evolution, not only in um, technology, but also the way business is done with everything with COVID-19 right. and everything. Uh, Tell us a little bit about um, how that's affected your business and how, how things have changed uh, that way for, with you guys. Right. And with the COVID-19, you know, they, they we're trying to stay away from each other more. So we use a log me in site uh, to contact a customer and log on to their copy machine and their computer and help them get their problems resolved. Uh, we use PTSI internet for that. We have the fiber connection, which makes it super fast. Um, instead of waiting two or three hours for us to get to the customer to work on their equipment we can actually be there in a matter of minutes to log on their computer and solve their issue especially if you have a service contract with SBC. Uh, we cover five states so there's a lot of distance driving and rather than waiting on us to get there we can call you and connect to you so um, it's uh, helped quite a bit to have the fiber internet uh, with the uh, log me insight and PTSI has been our partner on that uh, to get everything going We've had a lot of uh, great customer response with that, so we can help them out without driving out there. Well, and even within your office, I mean, you're mentioning a little bit about how that happened when you, you use PTCI internet, but also your cellular here. Mm -hmm. uh, how has your experience been with that, and how, is that, how has that helped uh, enhance your business, uh, even with online business and things like that? Right. Um, it's, it's helped on the cellular side. All of our technicians have PTSI cellular, most of them do at least. Uh, and uh, in contact the customer and it's worked relatively well in all areas that we go i mean like i said we do cover the five states so uh, for the most part uh, we have had no issues as i know of of the ptsi yeah. cellular 
Um, it's worked really well, and we can call the customer and contact them. Uh, we do send all of our uh, service work via email through our mm -hmm. phone, uh, email it back and forth using the data uh, on it. So uh, we've had great luck with that. Well, good. Well, Donald, we appreciate you joining us today. Once again, people, if uh, you, any kind of business needs that you have when it comes to copiers and printers <coughs> and things of that nature, SBC right here, you're keeping your business local and in our local community. And Donald, we just appreciate you joining us today. Thanks All right, thank again. you very much.
We are back here at Anchor D Bank Stadium. Sec second half, just getting ready to kick off here. As the spirit getting set here to kick. All tied up here, Landon Reeves. Ready to kick off for Ottawa. Reeves kick sends it high into the air. That's fielded there by Brown. Brown up with the sideline before he's pushed out of bounds where the Aggies will start off first and ten. I'd like to thank everybody here for tuning in on this live stream here. As the rain has kind of stopped, but we still have cloudy skies here in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Crandall is in the shotgun, ready to get the Aggies here started. Barbarino in motion, hands off, goes to Jones. Jones up the middle before getting tackled there. By number 95. Second down and nine here for the Aggies. Jones takes the handoff, and he is tackled in the backfield by number 95, Christian Foote, and number 90, David So. Third down here for the Aggies. Crandall takes a snap, looking for a pass here. Goes to Cola, falls incomplete there. Pass broken up here by number seven. David Jones, Jr. for Ottawa. Makes it fourth down here. Barbarino out to, out, out to punt. Low snap, Barbarino handles it, gets the punt off, sends it over Moreland's head. Is it going to fall down here? And it does about the five-yard line, pinning the Spirit deep in their own territory. We've got 13 minutes and 41 seconds left here to play in the third quarter. On this cloudy and rainy day here in the Oklahoma Panhandle. Where currently it's 50 degrees. McColo hands it off to there to Moreland. Moreland up the left side down the middle. He gets tackled there. By number 20. Marquez Johnson for the Aggies. We got a flag here. False start. On the offense. Makes it a five yard penalty, still second down here. Makes it second down on about six. Hands it off to Moreland. Moreland running. He's tackled there again by number 20, Marquez Jones. I'm oh, sorry, Marquez Johnson. Makes it a first down here for the Spirit. Nicola's pass deep along the left side. In and out of the hands of number five, Donald Stokes. Second down and ten. Trying 
Short pass here to Moreland. He gets chipped up there by the Aggie defender. Number 11, Demetrius Pruitt. Third down here for the Spirit. Handoff goes to the Moreland. Moreland looking for a first down, and he's close. Good enough for a first down there on the run by Shamar Moreland. Moreland, Moreland uses his quick speed to get out to the outside. And good enough for a first down. Moreland again on the run. He's tackled there by number 91. Ryan DeHorney. Second down and two here for the Spirit. Piccolo getting the, getting the call in from the sideline. Just over 11 minutes to play here. Handoff goes to Moreland again. Moreland missing tackles. Getting tackled there by number four. Josh Jacorvian Daniels. First down and 10 here for the Spirit. Nicolo takes a snap, looking deep along the left sideline. Oh, just outside the hands of number 14, Jordan King. Second down here for the Spirit. Handoff goes to the running back, number 22. Number 22, Jordan Dixon on the run. Colo making adjustments. Three receivers out to the right side. Give him some hand motions. Colo out to the left. Pass incomplete intended for Donald Stokes. Brings up fourth down here for the Spirit. Double receivers here, fourth down. Big stop here for the Aggies if they make it. Handoff goes to Moreland. Moreland fighting for every inch. Are they going to give him forward progress? We'll see here. We got both sides pointing both directions. First down, Spirit. Colo in the pistol formation. Handoff goes to Moreland again. They've been giving the ball to him time and time again here on this drive, and the Aggies cannot stop him. 
as he just runs around through and over all these Aggie defenders. Macrolo takes a snap, hands off to Moreland. And he's met immediately for maybe a loss of a yard. And Moreland comes out of the game, and in comes Jordan Dixon. Three receivers out to the right side. Eight minutes, 40 seconds left here to play. Spirit eating up a lot of time here on this drive. Pass out left side, deep. Oh, and it is broken up by number 11 for the Aggies. Demetrius Pruitt makes it third down and long for the Spirit. Colo, getting ready to take the snap. Quick pass there to Zamudio, and he is met immediately by number four for the Aggies, Jaquivian Daniels. Makes about fourth down and five. The Spear are probably already planning on going for it on fourth down, so that's why they went for a quick pass on third down to make this more fourth and manageable. Only got about five and six yards. Might hand it off here to Moreland again. Long count. No one jumps. Piccolo. Yep, hands it off to Moreland. Oh, there's an Aggie defender there, but he misses him. But he is met there by number 55, Cameron Dickerson. And it is a turnover on downs. Aggies will get the ball here. First down at about the 16-yard line. And out comes the Aggie offense, led by Casey Crandall, the freshman out of Winfield, Kansas. Seven minutes, 41 seconds left. Randall takes a snap, looking. Barbarino, Barbarino makes the snag for a gain of about 18 yards. Barbarino was showing his strong hands despite the wind and the rain. Good pass and catch there for the Aggies. Makes it first down and 10. Jones. Oh, and Jones is picked up and slammed to the ground by number seven. David Jones. Crandall's pass complete to number one, Chris Daly. Makes it a first down there for the Aggies. And Jones running over defenders for a first down. As Jones puts some of the spirit defenders, Trav like Travis Cutright, in the on his back, Crandall takes that snap for maybe again about two or three. Second down here for the Aggies. Crandall's pass. Oh, it's intercepted there 
by the Spirit. But we do have a flag. Number 33. Holding on the defense. That'll negate that interception. Aggies will keep the ball. As that pass was intercepted by number 33, Samare Alexander. But that pass include makes an Aggie first down here. Crandall passes it over to Jones. Can't keep his hands on it. Makes a second down. Crandall takes the snap. Keeps it off the option. Running towards the sideline. And he might gain just a few yards here. Make it third down and long here for the Aggies. Three receivers out to the right for the Aggies. Crandall takes a snap. Oh, and that is intercepted by number 95, Christian Foote. It's Crandall almost threw that ball directly to him. Austin McCullo will lead the Spirit out here first and 10 from about the 27 yard line. McCullo, the senior from Ridgecrest, California. Over to Moreland. Shamar Moreland. Good for a first down. Colo getting instructions to the offensive line. Go back to the pistol. Hands it off there to Moreland. And we got to give some shout out here to number 74, Austin Lloyd. Doing some excellent blocking out there for the spirit. Kicking out the defenders, giving Moreland time to work through the tackles there. Second and three. McCullough looking to pass. Pass fall short intended for Zamudio. There's four minutes and 16 seconds left here to play in the third quarter. Trips out to the right here. Third and eight for the Spirit. Nicolo looking. Oh, and that is intercepted by number 20 for the Aggies. Marquez Johnson, who brings it back for a touchdown. And that is the second pick six here for the Aggies in this game.
And the Aggies here take a lead with four minutes and three seconds left here to go in the third quarter. And that PAT is up and good for the Aggies. Number 20, Marquez Johnson had that interception there in the pick six. The freshman from Geneva, Alabama. Let's give a shout out to all my people watching from Alabama. Let's give props to Johnson for getting that quick thinking and, sc and scampering into the end zone there. And we had a late flag there after the PAT makes the Aggies kick the ball off here at the 50-yard line. And that pick six was, yes, by Marquez Johnson. Excuse me, the Aggies will not be kicking from the 15-yard line. Barberino here to kick off for the Aggies. Squib kick. Field there by the Spirit by about the 35 yard line. And the Spirit come back in after throwing. Austin McCullough leading the offense after throwing out pick six here. Let's see what they can do here. Get, back, get themselves back in the game. Handoff goes to Shamar. Moreland getting the game about five or six. And I think this rain has been affecting both teams, making that ball slippery and wet there for the receivers. And Moreland there gets the first down before getting tackled by number 37, Nathan Sanchez for the Aggies. Piccolo hands it off to Moreland again. Moreland. Being a workhorse here for the Spirit. Gain of about eight yards. We can probably guess that Moreland already has over 100 yards, 100 yards rushing in this game as he's almost been carrying this offense down the field. Another handoff goes to Moreland. And another gain of six or seven there before getting tackled by number 44 by the Aggies. And 
And as we can guess again, not another handoff to Moreland. Finally getting tackled by number 55, Cameron Dickerson, and number 91, Ryan DeHorney. Second down and eight for the Spirit. We got two minutes, fifteen six, two minutes and fifteen seconds left here to play. Four receivers, pistol formation. Jordan Dixon in for Moreland as he takes a break. Let's see what we got here. We got a Spirit touchdown on that long pass by McColo. And that pass there is caught by number five, Donald Stokes. And he does a little bit of a shimmy dance in the end zone. Got to show those Oklahomans how they dance in Arizona, I guess. Reeves in for the PAT. It's up and good, and we got a tie ball game here. Just like that, the Spirit tied up. With a minute 52 left here in the game. That touchdown catch was made by number five, Donald Stokes. He's a senior wide receiver from Cannon Crow, Louisiana. by Reeves. All that goes through the hands of of Jayshon Brown. That'll be a touchback here for the Aggies. Crandall in. For the Aggies, leading them out with Jamalian Zones in at running back. Jones takes the handoff, gains a few yards there. Oh, and we got a big hit there on Jones. That is number 33, Samare Alexander, driving Jones into the ground. We got a third down and eight here for the Aggies. Most likely going to be a pass here by Crandall. Crandall feeling the pressure by the defensive line, and he is sacked there for a loss by number 95, Christian Foote, who also had the interception. Christian Foote coming up in clutch here for the Spirit, makes it a fourth down and 11 here with 25 seconds left to play. The 
Aggies will be forced to punt as the play clock has about 15 seconds left. Barberino's punt goes skyrocketing, and Moreland calls for a fair catch. Thirteen seconds left here to play in the third quarter. And we got a flag there on the offense. That penalty looked to be declined. Macolo. And quarterback dropping back, forced to just throw that ball away as he's getting pressure there by number 90 of the Aggies. Braden Price providing pressure there on the quarterback. Moreland running before getting tackled there. And that right there signals the end of the third quarter as we have a tie game here, 28-28. We'll have a close one here going into the fourth quarter here on this PTCI live stream. We're back here to start this fourth quarter play here at Anchorage Bank Arena. I mean, Anchorage Bank Stadium in Goodwill, Oklahoma. McCullough hands off to Dixon. Dixon missing tackles. Gets the first down there before getting tackled there by number 44. Number 44, Matt Hernandez on the tackle. In the pistol formation, three receivers out to the left. And Dixon again on the run. Doesn't matter who's running the ball there for the Spirit. Able to get yards every play. Dixon again gets the ball. And that's Marquez Johnson on the stop there for the Aggies. Makes it another first down here. Spirit driving.
Jordan Dixon gets tackled from behind there by number 40. Malachi Green Hightower. For a gain of about four yards. Makes a second down here. Dixon again on the run. He's tackled there by the Aggie defender. Breaks up third down and four. And Moreland coming in the game for Dixon. And the handoff goes to Moreland. Oh, and he's tackled by Johnson. Makes it fourth down here for the uh, for the Spirit. Fourth and one in the red zone. 12 minutes, 30 seconds left here to play. Let's see what the Spirit call on offense. Aggies hovering around that line. Handoff goes to Moreland. Moreland stopped almost immediately. And I don't think he got there. And the Aggies come up with a stop. Led by number 90, Braden Price. First down and 10 here for the Aggies. Aggies have a long 86 yards to go in order to score a touchdown. Crandall at quarterback for the Aggies. Jones at running back. Pitch goes to Jones. Jones out on the left. Getting blocks. Gains about maybe a yard before getting hit by number 44. Ryland Canupio. Jones gets the handoff again for the Aggies. Goes into the pile. Maybe it gets a yard or two. Brings up third down for the Aggies. Third and five. Let's see what the Aggies do here. Pass complete to Cola, who's good for a first down. He gets tackled there by number 33, Samurai Alexander. Samurai Alexander on the tackle. Not until Cola can get the first down off that completion by Crandall. Ten minutes, 45 seconds left here to play in the fourth quarter. Game is all tied up here. Jones gets the handoff. Jones up the middle. And Jones is good for a gain of about nine or ten. That's 10 yards and a first down for the Aggies. Aggies not wasting any time getting right back on the ball. And off goes again to Jones, but Jones is met in the backfield by number 53. Brandon Tomerlin. Makes it second down and 10. 
Play action pass. Oh, and that pass is caught there by number seven. David Jones. Sorry, Jayshon Brown on the catch. Snags that in tight coverage. First down for the Aggies off the play action pass. Crandall again. And they're trying to get a flag called here as he was tugging on the back of Jones' jersey. But there is no yellow flags on the field. Coverage there provided by number 26. Jalen Moore. Second down for the Aggies. Jones gets the handoff, and he is tackled there by number 90, David So. After a gain of about two or three yards. Another third down and long here for the Aggies. Nine minutes left here to play. He is hit there and recovered by Tumberlin as Crandall is hit right as he throws. That is a turnover for the Aggies. Crandall's trying to say that he was arm was moving forward. But the refs aren't hearing anything of that. And then the Spirit get the ball here. McColo, play action pass. Step up in the pocket. Going deep. And he that is pass is caught about the two-yard line there by number... 80, number 88, Marquez Williams. McCullough hur hurrying up, hands it off to Dixon. Dixon in for the touchdown for the Spirit. And the Spirit have a quick six points on the board. And Landon Reeves will come out to kick the PAT. Reeves' PAT is up and in after the after that turnover by the Aggies. The Spirit scoring its two plays. Eight minutes, 28 seconds left here. Spirit leading by seven. TCI, we know it's important to keep your world within your reach. Having the right cell phone and our nationwide cell service helps you do just that and keeps you connected to your loved ones, no matter the distance. So stay connected to what and who matters and keep your world within your reach with PTCI Cellular. Choose PTCI for the latest assortment of cell phones and our area's best cell coverage at a location near you, online at ptci.net or at 580-338-2556. Some restrictions apply. Reeves in to kick the kickoff for the Spirit. Jay Sean Brown back to receive for the Aggies. And that kick is fielded by Dominguez. Ball will be placed about the 26-yard line. 
8.25 left. Randall Lennett, quarterback for the Aggies. And that pitch goes to Cola, and he is met almost immediately by the Spirit defenders. Second down and 11 here for the Aggies. Screen pass there to Cola, and he's met. Oh, and hit hard, but stays on his feet. And brings up about third and five for the Aggies. Seven minutes, 15 seconds left here to play. And that pass is incomplete. Now we're going to see a flag here. And I don't think they threw a flag at all. We have some light hitting here. Makes it fourth down for the Aggies. Bring on the punt team. Barberino to punt. Good snap. I don't know if that punt got tipped. by number 82, but it did not travel that far as the Spirit will have the ball at around the 40-yard line. Colo, low snap, barely gets off to Dixon. And that play is called dead as he as McCullough's knee was on the ground whenever he tried to hand it off. And that is an automatic dead, low dead as it is in college football. Makes it second down and 14. Second down and 14, six minutes, 20 seconds left here. Time running off the clock. We've got about eight seconds left here on the play clock. McCullough is still trying to get the snap in, the call in from the sideline. Three, two, one. Oh, just barely gets snap off. Play action pass. McCullough looking oh, wide open on the flats, number 14. Jordan King with the, with the catch. No Aggie defender around there in the flats, leaving Jordan King wide open. Easy play there for this for the Spirit. Dixon gets the handoff. 
and he is tackled there by number 25, Daquan Charles. Second and five. And Marquez Johnson is slow getting up on that play. And I guess the spirit here breaking the huddle. Colo in the pistol. Hands it off there to Dixon. Dixon running. And he's tackled there by number 90, Braden Price. Makes it third down and four for the Spirit. Four minutes, 50, 50 seconds left here to play. And that pass intended for Zamudio goes right over the head. As I think there was a miscommunication on what was being run there between Mikolo and Zamudio. Makes it fourth down and four for the Spirit. And Dixon gets the handoff, looking for the first. Does he get there? No, he does not. Turnover on downs as the Aggies get a stop here, down by seven with four and a half left to play in the game. Snap taken by Crandall. Crandall looking deep. Uh, and the pass intended for Cola. He was not expecting it as it goes over the head. Makes up second down for the Aggies. On that ball comes out. And who hit, who gets on it? Recovered there by the Aggies. Luckily, looked like the Spirit were going to jump on that. That makes it a third down here for the Aggies. Third and 11. Crandall forced to throw that into the ground. He is pressured by number 91. S score is still 35-28 with 3 minutes 40 seconds left to play. Barbarino on the punt. Barbarino's punt goes bouncing. Keeps rolling all the way down to the 31-yard line with 3 minutes and 32 seconds left to play here. 
The Spirit will take over on possession. OPSU Aggies. Trailing by seven here. McCullough takes a snap. Hands it off to Dixon. Dixon gets tackled there by number 91, Ryan DeHorney, who's slow getting up. Gain of about six yards. And the Spirit are just content letting the clock roll down. We've got two minutes, 50 seconds left. Another handoff goes to Dixon. Dixon there is tackled. Timeout by the Aggies. Third down and two with two minutes, 42 seconds left to play. Back after that timeout, third down and two. Hand goes to Dixon. Dixon gets the first down for the Spirit. Moving those chains. Spirit here just letting time click off. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. I'd like to thank everybody here for tuning into this game today. Everybody watching from Louisiana, Wisconsin, Arizona, Oklahoma, Texas. I see all you guys in the comments. That's another run there. By Dixon for a gain of... Five, and that's a timeout here called by OPSU with a minute 59. PCI, we know it's important to keep your world within your reach. Having the right cell phone and our nationwide cell service helps you do just that and keeps you connected to your loved ones, no matter the distance. So stay connected to what and who matters and keep your world within your reach with PTCI Cellular. Choose PTCI for the latest assortment of cell phones and our area's best cell coverage at a location near you, online at ptci.net, or at 580-338-2556. Some restrictions apply.
pitchers. Shamar Moreland out of Phoenix, Arizona. And Jordan Dixon out of Baltimore, Maryland. And Dixon there gets wrapped up. Making a fourth down. A minute 40 left here. The Spirit can run this clock all the way down to about 102. Let's see if they decide to punt it here or go for it. Let's see how gutsy the coach wants to be here. Got about five seconds left here to play. Expect a timeout here by by the Spirit. We got 103 on the clock. Timeout, Ottawa. Ottawa ready to punt the ball here. Punt goes down. Into the end zone for a touchback with 54 seconds left despite the great effort by the Spirit to stop that one. OPSU has 54 seconds left here. No timeouts. Down by seven with the freshman, KC Crandall, at quarterback from Winfield, Kansas. Let's see if the Aggies have a little bit of magic left in them today. That pass is... Goes over the head, number one, Chris Daly. Second down. <laughs> Crandall takes a snap. That pass is incomplete too as he's getting pressured by the defensive line. Makes it third down and 10 for the Aggies. 49 seconds left here. Aggie offensive line not doing much to help their young quarterback. And that pass is intended for Barbarino. And that falls incomplete. It's fourth down and ten. This very well could be the play of the game here. Let's see who steps up. Three receivers out to the right. Crandall takes a snap. Looking. Throws it deep, and that is intercepted. And that'll seal the game right there, folks. 
We got 38 seconds up here to play after that interception. Ottawa University Spirit will come take the long trip into the Oklahoma Panhandle and emerge victorious barring any unforeseen circumstances here. As we can probably just expect a kneel down here by McCullough. I'd like to thank everybody here for watching this one. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Nathaniel Watson, your voice of the Panhandle. McCullough takes a knee. And that there clock will expire here at Anchor D Bank Stadium. We got 27 seconds left and ticking. I'd like to thank everybody here for tuning in on the this PTCI YouTube channel. Both teams fought nice and hard on this one. Played good games. And that is the end of this one here with the final score of the Ottawa. 35, Oklahoma Panhandle State University, 28. TCI, we know it's important to keep your world within your reach. Having the right cell phone and our nationwide cell service helps you do just that and keeps you connected to your loved ones, no matter the distance. So stay connected to what and who matters and keep your world within your reach with PTCI Cellular. Choose PTCI for the latest assortment of cell phones and our area's best cell coverage at a location near you, online at ptci.net or at 580-338-2556. Some restrictions apply. Hey, we get it. You want, no, you need faster internet, especially in today's world. And you deserve it too. You deserve a great experience while playing video games, binging the latest TV show, or video chatting with your loved ones. Like you, we know the importance of having good internet where you live and work. That's why, as your local internet provider, PTCI's affordable and reliable internet plans make perfect sense. So sign up today and get the internet you deserve at a PTCI location near you or visit us online at ptci.net. Some restrictions apply.